this thing running? Oh, what's going on YouTube? Today, I got a little video about the iPhone 7 Plus, but it's not an unboxing video because I've had this thing for a week now. It's jet black, 128 gigs, and uh, I wasn't supposed to get it till October 25th from T-Mobile, and that was with a pre-order on the 9th of September. So I got it, and I'm all cased up already. And big shout out to Caseology with their Caseologist program. So uh, I was ready before my phone came. And then we have some Amazon cases. That's the best way I can put it. But here she is. My beautiful, I call her the Jet Black Beauty. And you see how she shines. It's like a mirror. It picks up fingerprints like crazy when you hold it hard. But if you handle it lightly and it's not really slippery, it don't really pick up fingerprints. And there's like not too many scratches on it. I mean, it's some really light scratches that you got to like look really hard to see. But even outside of the case, it still handles well. So first, I'm going to get this out of the way. And we're going to start off with the Caseology Envoy series. This is the Envoy series, uh, black and gold. I won't be needing these anymore. So it's not a bad case, you know. It's a two piece, uh, pretty nice TPU with a uh, carbon fiber type design on the back. And then you have the hard sort of plastic. So let's pop all that back in there. Let's pop the phone in. Simple, easy access, everything works. Let's see, let's open that up. Everything, volume, buttons, uh, switches accessible. Ports are open. Let's see. Uh, uh, yep, the mighty adapter. <laughs> and, uh, you know, access. Caseology Envoy Series. All right, so got that out of the way. This right here is the Waterfall Series. I wanted this case because it's clear and I wanted the jet black to show, but this case is nice, hard back, soft sides, corners reinforced, and Two things I don't like about this case. I love the way it feels, but it's hard to keep like dust from between the phone and the case inside. And it gets these, uh, you know, after a while, it like sticks to the back of the phone and you get that rainbow effect. I don't like the way that looks. Other than that, it's a pretty, uh, pretty solid case. You know, show your beauty. So, all right, what's next? Oh, Waterfall Series, Case Allergy. Next, the Titan Series. This is one of my favorites. I like this because it's a two-piece. It's like a hybrid from like most other companies that make one. And yeah, I'm just throwing the cases all over the place. It's a... Uh, it's a nice case. Uh, it adds a little bit of bulk, just a little bit. But it's definitely going to protect well. Pop it in. Looks good. Ports open. I'm not going to keep plugging this in because most of these case allergy cases, mostly all these cases I have, well, actually all of them, no interference. I don't have to take the case off to plug in a standard lightning port adapter or charger. 
so I'm not gonna keep doing that. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice case. And most of the cases, all the cases that I have are okay cases, nice cases. So I'm gonna use each one. I'm gonna put them in rotation for sure, depending on what I'm doing or where I'm going. Uh, what's next? My last case allergy case, the Vault series. The thinnest of them, uh, it actually looks like the back of the iPhone as far as the antenna lines go and all that. It's pretty flexible and super thin. So this is a case that you use when you're not really doing nothing strenuous, you know, not in a harmful environment to your device. Uh, the thinnest of them all. It's like a skin and it still has the open ports. Uh, buttons are easy to push, no struggle. Everything works, clear access to the switch, camera opening, and it sits in the back well. Nice little design on the side, give you some grip. This is actually more slippery than the phone. Uh, the antenna lines, that's what I wanted to get at. See how they put the antenna lines? Pretty clever. And Caseology sent me these cases and told me, just do a review on how they look and feel and not to fit until you get your phone. So here's my review. Okay, the generics is what I call them. This looks like the Titan series. From Caseology that I just showed you. Definitely looks like it. About the same thickness. Uh... It's kind of sort of a two-piece, but, you know, it's a little struggle to take it all the way apart. So, I don't really consider doing that. And we're going to pop the phone in. And there you have it. Easy access to the buttons. Ports open. And... This case is just an Amazon case. Okay, let's go with this thing. Moon Mini fashion case. I like this little packaging thingy. It's a nice little, not cheesy, you know, nice little packaging. But the case is cool, has a kickstand, and you can use it in two ways, landscape and portrait, both of them. Uh, I know that was reverse how I did it, but y'all get the picture. Only thing I don't like, well, I'm not going to say don't like, but I'm fearful of, is the insides have a potential to maybe scratch the back of the phone up if you like happen to press down on it too hard or something that's what it seems like may happen i have used this case but it's like uh around the whole middle of the case around the edges there's a seam it's not too comfortable to hold for a long period of time that 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 line right there goes all the way around the whole case and holding it for extended periods of time just don't cut it but it's a nice case. I mean, it's not super thick. The corners are bulging out for impact if you happen to drop it. It doesn't really offer too much protection. That's another thing. All the Caseology cases and this uh, last case that I showed you, the other Amazon case, they have bezel protection. But this... It's exposing the front a little bit, so you don't want to, you know, sit your phone face down. But it's a nice case. Wait, let me show you it. Let's see. There you have it. When I was binge watching Luke Cage, I was using this case at work. And there you have it. So, Moon Mini from Amazon. And as you can see, we're taking the cases on and off. You know, it's still normal, like, it's not too many scratches. The antenna lines pick up most of the blemishes. 
I happened to notice that right before making this video that the antenna lines definitely had some blemishes along the line. But you had to really stare at the phone and get close up on it to notice them. It's not like the uh, 6 where, you know, you'll get the scrape marks if something gets in the case and sits there too long. Got about, what, four more cases? Sheesh. All right, let's go with this thing. This is... I have no clue of the name of these things. They just throw them in plastic and send them to you. This is a heavy-duty case with one of these things. Oh my God, this is hideous. This case has a kickstand. Only good in landscape, but it's a heavy duty case. It's pretty thick. Uh, my OCD gets the best of me with this case because when you press the buttons, they press, but just that part of the case goes in. I know, I know, that's crazy, right? I'm, I'm, I'm retarded. So if I, this part right here, it goes in, I don't like that. But other than that, it's a nice case. It's definitely a heavy duty case. It gives you great bezel protection. And if you, oh God, if you wear this thing, then you know, you're really protected with the VCR hanging off your belt, you know. And this thing will bump up against everything that you walk past. Get in the car, it's gonna bump the car door or the, in, the, the interior. But I don't know what these holes are for. Oh, and this is a six plus, six plus slash seven plus case. So they gave you an opening for your uh, no longer there headphone jack and the speaker. And then if you put it on your six plus, you'll get access to your headphone jack. And the good heavy duty cases are always a bit hard to take off. Then we have this thing. I got a name on it. It's called the Pro Case. This is another uh, six plus, seven plus case, I believe. It's big old headphone jack open and bigger than the other case. It's a two piece case. And this thing, I've used this twice. I switch cases like maybe twice a day. So since I had the phone for almost a week, I had to use all these cases. And let's pop it in. This is hard to get in a little bit, a little force needed. I may have to do it piece by piece. Sometimes I do, but it's in there. And there is nice bezel protection, easy access to the buttons click with no problem it's a solid field it's not too thick the pro case i'm sitting here wondering now am i going to put a link to each one of these cases in the description sheesh uh i don't really like the opening for the camera because it exposes too much of the phone i like the ones that's more like you know just around where the camera is um but this is called the pro case the ports accessible uh, switch accessible and it's a, overall it's a nice case it feels like a, a turtle shell or some shit let's see how are we gonna get this off take the top part off first and it's out of there two more to go I'm gonna go with this one this is called the Plastic case. <laughs> nah, it's okay. How do we pronounce this? Torubia. Torubia. Can we see that? Torubia two card case. Put two cards in there. It almost looks like a, a sidekick. <laughs> Let's pop the phone in. This is a thick case. It's round like super curved and I love the way the camera sits back in there I haven't really used this case yet not like outside anywhere I'm not too fond of these kind of cases but uh, 
it serves its purpose. It definitely holds two cards with no problem. Um, do I have any cards? Let's see if I have any cards anywhere. Here's one. And here's one. Uh, here's my Sugar House card, the casino. But it's two cards. I'm going to slot them in there. And, well, let's make sure they're all the way in. And that's it. It's plush. And it won't accidentally open. He banging his phone around. You won't catch me with a, a knife or a hammer to my screen, idiots. And there you have it. Let's see. Uh, oh, they won't come out. This is another reason, but they tell you, boop, right there. And it's out. So. Uh, and last but not least, this is my favorite out of all the generic cases. The clear armor case. I like it because it's frosted. It's not completely clear. So it looks really good on your phone. That frosted and jet black. The camera cutout is nice. Well, I don't know what these things are for. I have a few cases with this open and I don't know what it's for. But the edges are reinforced for the end pack. You get a little bit of bezel cover, just a little bit, and it's more so on the outside of the bezel. But the ports are accessible. Damn, this video is 16 minutes in, almost 17 minutes. All right, let me get out of here. That's my review, folks. So that's my few cases that I just wanted to show y'all for my Jet Black Beauty. I love this phone already. Uh, one year in. A little over a year in back then with the iPhone after six years of Android and uh it's refreshing especially with this one in 10.1 beta all right thanks for watching and I'm out